Alright, so now we're going to go through and we're going to read all the creatures. Now you might notice there's been a slight change of venue based on the uh, music in the background. That is because even after you save the game, uh, it does not register you as having gotten the scans for Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime's other form. So just for you loyal viewers, I went through and I beat my way into the Metroid Prime second form just for you so that we can be able to read all of these. Um, I am gonna save us some time. There is an awful lot of creatures. So what I thought I'd do is I'm only gonna read the ones that are limited time scans. So for the most part that's gonna be bosses, but there's gonna be some other random ones thrown in there too. So let us start the bidding off. So the first one is actually this guy, the Ice Shriek Bat, and we, we had to go uh, fight through some ways get to this guy again but that's fine we can do that no problem so ice shriek bat ice encased ceiling dweller like standard shriek bats these creatures are easily spotted with thermal imaging they roost on cave ceilings subsisting on insects reptiles and small mammals fiercely territorial they will dive bomb anything that wanders near then the parasite queen Parasitic female genetically enhanced by unknown means. A weak spot has been detected in this creature's mouth. Use your auto-targeting to acquire this new target. Scans indicate the presence of a potent mutagen, origins unknown. The creature exhibits the ability to fire weapon-grade blasts of energy from its mouth, a trait not present in the standard parasite genome. It appears the pirates have begun a bioengineering program with considerable results. So the Hive Mecha is the next one. Security unit program to work with. Predatory Hive Dwellers. A design flaw makes the shielding on the Hive Mecha weak around their access ports. These units are second generation combat drones able to interface with organic units at a higher level. They train, shelter, and work with Hive Dwelling Predators. Unarmed, they rely on their Hive Beasts to handle any threats. Got the Aqua Drone. Security mecha adapted for use in underwater areas. The space pirates have adapted a number of sentry drones for use in liquid environments. These Aqua Drones utilize an arsenal of artificial intelligence suite similar to their cousins. The pirates have been unable to properly shield these drones from electrical attack, making them vulnerable to the wave beam. Barbed War Wasp. Airborne insect with the ability to launch its stinger at prey. A highly aggressive member of the War Wasp family, this insect can propel the tip of its stinger up to 20 meters. The stinger tips regrow seconds after launch and contain an acidic compound designed to pre digest prey. Flagra. This mutant plant is the source of toxic water in the ruins. Flagra's growth cycle has been radically accelerated. As a result, it requires near constant exposure to solar energy to remain active. This exposure has made Flagra's outer shell thick and durable. Its lower root system is unprotected and vulnerable, however. Exploit this flaw when possible. Concentrated weapon fire can daze it for short periods. Parasite Interstellar vermin, traveling swarms. Indigenous to Talon 4, a single parasite is harmless to larger life forms. However, they tend to travel in large groups, swarming over potential prey. Such swarms can be dangerous. This is one of the last ones we got, the Aqua Sack. Incinerator drone, programmed for high temperature waste disposal. Device schematics indicate a high risk of malfunction when the internal power core is damaged. The unit has minimal combat programming, but can defend itself if necessary. This drone's intense heat blasts compensate for its lack of battle prowess. Meta Ridley Genetically enhanced Ridley metaphor. Reborn and evolved through pirate technology, Meta Ridley is a fearsome enforcer. Its armored hide is extremely resilient, save for the chest, which has thinner plating. A 
pirates have fused a number of potent weapons to the creature, including a multi-missile system, a kinetic breath weapon, a Mison bomb launcher, and an ultra-thermal flame strike projector. Meta Ridley is also a formidable melee combatant, making any sort of engagement a risky proposition. Aqua Pirate. Space pirates with exoskeletons modified for underwater use. Using modified thruster packs and gravity suit technology, the space pirates have armor suits for use in liquid environments. Thermal tracking is still very useful against these units, as the pirate engineers have yet to eliminate the thruster pack's high heat signature. Phazon Elite Elite Pirate infused with fate energized Phazon. The Phazon charged Elite Pirates rely more on their Wave Quake generators, opting not to carry the vulnerable plasma artillery cannons normally used by Elites. The direct fusing of Phazon into their bodies provides a tremendous level of energy. The drastically lower lifespan that comes with this process is of little concern to the Pirate Research Team. Metroid Prime the core essence of Metroid Prime. Scan indicates that the Phazon energy form of Metroid Prime is invulnerable to all conventional weapons. Only attacks from a Phazon fused arm cannon will damage it. It generates pools of Phazon when it attacks. Use these to fuel your suit's Phazon weapon system. The entity can also spawn Metroids to assist it in battle, rendering itself invisible when it does so. Ice Burrower. A hardy burrower adapted to sub-freezing climates. A hardy life form, the ice burrower has adapted to the frigid climate of Fendrana. It spends most of its time tunneling through frozen soil, but will occasionally surface to attack passersby. Flagra Tentacle. One of Flagra's tentacles fills this narrow drainage channel. Analysis indicates that Flagra's central nervous system is located at the base of this structure. Elite Pirate. Phazon Enhanced Space Pirate, incredibly strong, armored, and well-armed. Elite Pirates are potent foes. Their energy siphon system absorbs beam weapon shots, which they use to fuel a massive plasma artillery cannon. The nature of this system makes them vulnerable to concussion-based weapons. Well-armored, the Elite Pirate is effective in close combat and at a distance. Their massive size can be a weakness, and their sluggish speed allows for evasion and quick attacks. Omega Pirate. Most powerful of the Elite Pirate forces. Omega Pirates can become invisible to normal sight. It is vulnerable when cloaked as all energy is drawn from defense systems. By exposing itself to Phazon, it can regenerate damaged tissue and organs. Considered the pinnacle of the Elite Pirate program, this enemy should be handled with extreme caution and maximum firepower. Thardis. An animated sentient creature of stone charged with Phazon Radiation. The Phazon Radiation given off by Thardis negates auto-targeting systems, preventing lock-on. It may be possible to acquire alternate targets with a different visor. The chaotic nature of Phazon Irradiation leads to instability in its structural integrity, Thardis can encase targets in ice, and its colossal size and strength make it a formidable opponent. Metroid Prime, highly evolved Phazon producing life form. The aberration known as Metroid Prime is the source of Phazon, making it immensely powerful. A genetic flaw makes it susceptible to certain weapons for brief periods. Only its head is truly vulnerable, other attacks are a nuisance. Offensively, Metroid Prime has a number of natural and mechanical weapons at its disposal. These include ultra frigid breath, multi missiles, snare beams, and particle wave projectors. Its massive strength and barbed carapace make it lethal in melee combat. Recommend maximum firepower when engaging this enemy. Ram War Wasp. Airborne Predator. Circles its prey, then strikes. The War Wasps are the only species on Talon 4 to evolve a true hive mind. Nesting in damp, dark places, Ram War Wasps emerge when, in small groups when threatened and circle their enemy at high speeds, disorienting it. Striking from all sides as a single intelligence, they can fell huge organisms. Ice Parasite. 
scavenger with a crystalline outer shell. Parasites are hardy creatures able to adapt to any environment within three generations. The ice parasite is a prime example. Having adjusted to a frigid climate, this vermin now thrives in it. Omnivorous, it can exist in areas hostile to most life forms. Plated Puffer Mutated Puffer with Reinforced Epidermis Phazon exposure has created a mutant strain of puffers on Talon 4. They have developed plated skin, making them harder to burst. Concussive weapons can still do the job. However, the gas within the plated puffer is just as deadly as that within their cousins. And that is all of the single encounter or limited time encounter enemies. If you have any other enemies that you'd like to see me read off, go ahead and read a, uh, or leave a comment, and I will be sure to make another video if there's enough interest that'll have all of the multiple use ones. But for now, this has been Miserable Poignier signing off. Have a great day.